uh, I chose this story on the front of the mail, Trans Row Over Women's Wards. And I thought this was uh, particularly interesting. So supposedly, the mail reports, there is pressure to change NHS guidance um, that says uh, patients can temporarily identify as female and then access an NHS ward that is reserved traditionally for women. I thought when we saw the leader of a political party choose as a hill to die on her attempt to send a male rapist to female prisons, I thought we'd finished with this nonsense. And to find that it's still going on, I, I think it, it will surprise many GB News viewers. And I think that the, the health secretary really does have to get to grips with this. This is not something that should still be happening. How, how, I mean, I, the, we've had this with prisons where people were able to self-identify as, as women and get moved yeah. into a women's prison, and that was stopped. I, like you, I think, Alex, presume that that was a decision that had been made across government. And, and we were wrong. So uh, is this something that's been done by individual NHS trusts? Correct. And this is the trouble. It's just like with the police force, which can decide to, you know, keep the DNA from innocent people or not, depending on which force uh, that happens in. Individual trusts and individual hospitals are sometimes saying, if you've chosen to temporarily define, not had an operation, you're not even on hormone treatment perhaps, you've chosen to define as a woman, then you will have access to a women's only ward. Well, vulnerable people, by definition, they're in care, they're in a hospital, they're in a hospital bed, and someone turns up next to them who's chosen that day, or that week, to define as a woman. Doesn't seem right to me. Mm. Surely the staff there, somebody should have done something. It doesn't all have to go up to the Secretary of State, does it? You've got NHS England, you've got everybody... the staff who are doing who is, it, it seems. That's right, but it's, they are the people who should be overseeing the, And this. the vast majority of people, the vast majority of people watching this uh, programme will say the NHS is struggling, just get on with tra treating patients. Never mind all this political correctness, the wokeism, just get on with treating patients. And that's what has to be the priority, but it's not in this case.